Let's solve this problem involving the buoyancy force. So we have a rectangular barge that's 17 meters long, 5 meters wide, and 2.5 and meters in height. Now when the barge is empty, only 0.6 of it is, mer is submerged. But with its current load, the barge sinks to 2.2 meters. So for the additional mass, and I'll write that here, additional mass, it's submerged an additional, well, 2.2 minus 0.6, an additional 1.6 meters. First thing to do is to draw a free body diagram. So here's our barge. We know there's an upward force, that's the buoyant force, and then there's the downward force, that's the force of gravity. So the uh, buoyant force is balancing the force of gravity. And that's how the barge is able to sit there without sinking. Great, well what is the buoyancy force? Well, we know from Archimedes' principle that the buoyancy force is simply equal to the weight of the displaced water. Well, what is that equal to? The weight of the displaced water, that's equal to the mass of the displaced water times the acceleration of gravity. And mass is equal to density times volume. Excellent. We can um, now calculate the buoyancy force. So for the additional load, which causes it to sink an additional 1.6 meters, all I need to worry about is the additional buoyancy force. So that's going to equal the, um, well, we have it right here, the density of water, I should put a W there, times the volume of water times the acceleration of gravity. Density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed multiplied by the volume. Oh, we need the volume. So let's find the volume over here. The volume of the water, the sorry, the volume of the displaced water, well, it's just equal to length times width times depth. And the length of the barge is 17 meters. The width is 5 meters. And since we're only interested in the mass of the cargo, we're only interested in the additional buoyancy force required. So therefore we'll plug in the 1.6 meters that it that it, it goes down when the load is, is uh, put on the ship. Well, multiplying these three numbers together, we get 136 meters cubed. So let's plug that back in up here. 136 meters cubed, and then the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Excellent. Well, the meters cubed here cancels with these meters cubed, and a kilogram meter per second squared, well, that's a newton. And so we get a buoyancy force, or I should say an additional buoyancy force of 1.3 times 10 to the sixth newtons. Excellent. Well, I know that this additional buoyancy force is balancing the additional mass of the load. And so I set up that equation and then I just have 1.3 times 10 to the 6th newtons equals the mass of the load times the acceleration of gravity. And all that's left to do is divide both sides by the 9.8 meters per second cubed, sorry, meters per second squared. Cancel, cancel. Newtons divided by meters per second squared is a kilogram. And therefore, the mass of the load is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the fifth 
kilograms.